Hey guys, Youngblood with you to cover the additional information that we got in the Vulcan Q&A released a few days ago in the most brief and informative way possible. Now before getting started, I did want to apologize to you all for the lack of content lately. Um, basically, real life has gotten in the way from a few different perspectives. And it's really made uh, creating content a bit challenging. So I'm hoping to remedy some of that here pretty soon. But anyways, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. And let's start off with the drone questions, because that's where the majority of the questions were surrounding. First off, there is a maximum range on the drones. And if you start flying too far away from those drones, or just take them too far away from your ship, um, you're going to end up getting a warning that you're kind of exceeding that range. That being said, if you do that, it's not a real danger to them unless they're actually attacked and you can't control them because basically what's going to happen is they're just going to sort of deactivate and stay in that place until you end up getting close enough to regain that connection. Now, a few questions about if drones can do other things than mentioned in the sale, um, which they said drones could technically haul items to any location that they could reach. Now, what this means is that there's potentially opening up some salvage as a real possibility for the Vulcan, as it could use its tools to cut parts off, like almost like you were repairing a broken weapon. And you could bring it back to your cargo area, which just adds another layer of versatility to the ship. Now, speaking of that, they said that the drones weren't designed for the purpose of swapping out weapons on your own Vulcan with something that you have in the cargo bay. That being said, there isn't actually anything from stopping you from doing just that. Um, same thing would apply. You could technically repair your own Vulcan with your own drones. Now, in regards to controlling the drones, um, you're not going to be doing it from your Moby Glass, at least for the time being, since it's not planned. Um, but all controls are basically going to be handled from the support stations that are on the bridge. The drones are going to end up being flown like any other ship, but instead of sitting in it, you're seeing an FPS view from the screen in front of you. Basically a screen in screen, kind of a screenception situation. And yes, like mentioned in the sale, they will work in atmosphere. Also, there is a roadmap item for 3.3 for kind of a personal repair drone, which there isn't a lot of information on at this point, but basically the ones on the Vulcan are going to be quite a bit larger and probably more capable um, than what we end up seeing later on. Now, refueling was the other area that got a lot of questions, mostly about how much fuel you can actually supply. Now, with every ship having a unique size tank, it's hard to specify, but their ultimate goal is to allow you to completely fill 8 to 10 small ships, 2 to 3 medium ships, or half of a large fuel tank. Now, keep in mind, the, the purpose of this ship, it's really more designed to give you almost like a AAA truck effect, to where you kind of fill them up with just a little bit of fuel to allow them to get to the next location um, where they can refuel there. And then you just kind of keep giving people a little bit of fuel, basically helping them get going. But if you did want to do a full refuel, it may take several attempts or several drones um, because they have their own kind of level of capacity too. So you may end up needing to do several trips to refuel any fuel tank from empty to full. Now, if you're wondering what the largest ship you could possibly completely refuel yourself um, as a Vulcan, it's planned to either be something like the Retaliator or the Constellation. Now, in regards to refueling yourself, um, the external tank is not connected to the systems of your ship, so you can't necessarily just tap into that for normal flying. However, you could technically stop and refuel yourself from that reserve, um, I would assume using your drones. Now, speaking of those drones, they said while this isn't planned, they see no reason why you couldn't end up pulling fuel out of another ship using the drones, which could also be kind of a somewhat salvage operation um, to use in the ship basically allowing you to find a derelict, pulling the fuel out of that, putting it into your tank, and then using it later on to refuel other ships. And then the question came up, can you actually refuel yourself from a Starfarer, which absolutely you can, um, both your primary and your refueling external tanks. Uh, and then kind of to end up here, we got some general information about the ship. Um, we find out that there isn't a formal airlock in the back of the ship. However, the elevator is fully enclosed. So it's, it's basically going to operate as an airlock to prevent de depressurization if you end up opening the cargo hatch. Um, when asked about how much ammo the Vulcan can actually carry, they sort of gave a non-answer, stating it has a good-sized cargo hold of 12 SCU, which means quite a bit, but they will kind of basically build it out and make it bigger if they have to as the development proceeds. Um, they've also confirmed again that you can work on ground vehicles with no problem and address the odd phrasing of drones in the brochure with the ability to tug. Um, they said that was actually just kind of poor phrasing, that they actually meant that you can kind of haul around components as needed. Um, you're not necessarily going to be kind of organizing a fleet of drones to tug a ship from one location to another. So that's basically it. Um, I think most of the answers here were fairly obvious, but in a good way, because it confirmed a lot of the value that I already saw in this ship. 
with adding some nice surprises, like finding out that the tank size is surprisingly large, or that you can work in a pseudo salvage role too, assuming things play out as they expect. Overall, I'm still really extremely happy with this ship, and waiting to see how the drone gameplay comes to fruition, because I think there's going to be a lot riding on that. So if you guys have questions, please get them in the comments, otherwise I appreciate you all watching, stay tuned for a lot more, and have yourselves a wonderful day, take care.